she is, stop her. Lamplight Orphanage, home for wayward children. What's wayward mean? It means we're poor, sad, awful children, with no direction in life, and can strike out against oh, anyone who... All right, Millie. No need to scare her. Girls, say hello to Kit. She's on a bus now. Hang on a second. Maybe she's sitting with us, Jess. That's right, Alice. And can you please pack up? Oh. Girls, let's do that number we did when those fancy people came to our place. Do you think that's a good idea, Ruby? Ms. Holmes told us to clean up. Would you stop worrying? It will be fun. Yeah, Ms. Holmes won't mind. Will she sit? Yeah, we're just welcoming our newest member to the family. Family? Repeat after us. 
but we don't have that kind of money. Our state funding was cut two years ago. We've been working so hard to keep the Lamplight Orphanage open, and Christmas Eve is less than a week away. There must be something we can do. Nope. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> extra, extra. Orphanage expected to be homeless by Christmas. Stop it. Come on, guys. Let's get her. Your mother was a good boy, and your father was too. Leave her alone, boys. Oh, Miss Pellet, what are we going to do? Well, Miss Snoozy, I think I may have another job for you, if you are willing. Anything for a buck. I need a spy. Except for that. I only get paid to be obnoxious. You'll have to find someone else to do the real dirty work. But who? I need someone on the inside. You'll never get those orphans to run on each other. They're thicker than moldy rice pudding. That's disgusting. Don't do that. I'm obnoxious. I'll see you around. Extra, extra. Job rates down. Spy jobs available. What? <laughs> see <Just need> one. <laughs> to give him a what for? Yeah, I hope she's gonna punch in the wallet. Yeah, shake out some cash. Bam! Oh, my allowance, my allowance! <laughs> <laughs> Girls, Miss Helen is about to leave for the city council meeting. She asked us to clean up from lunch and come back inside. You can have your things and go on it. We'll do the rest. What you gonna do at the meeting? I thought the corporation took over our lunch. Well, if she can convince those guys to help us, she might be able to stop the corporation from shutting us down. So it lords, this is serious. If anyone can stop those guys, it's Miss Helen. We all just need to have faith. In politicians? That's a stretch. <laughs> well, let's just have faith in Miss Helen, then. Excuse me, missies. You got a penny to spare? I'm starving. Starving. Here you are. Bless you, girls. You mind if I stay here for a little while? My feet are aching. Sure, it's fine. Wow, I wish I had a nice warm place like this to lie down. You kids are lucky. Yes, we are lucky. Too bad you aren't a little bit younger. You can stay here with us. <laughs> I remember when I was younger. My daddy and I used to sit out on the front porch and watch the fireflies and sing songs and. What songs did you sing? Well, I think my favorite was, well, you don't want to hear me sing. No, sing it. Yes, please. Oh, okay. I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad. She was a pearl and the only girl that daddy ever had. A real old-fashioned girl with heart so true. One who loved nobody else but you. Oh, I want a girl just like the girl that married dear old dad. That was wonderful. Well, thank you, girls. I must be off. The coppers don't like it when I linger too long. Well, you can linger here anytime you want. Right, girls? Yeah. Thank you. Your kindness won't be forgotten. All right. Now I'll clean up before you get checked out of the littering. Good evening, City Council. Do we have a quorum? Ooh, I'll have one of those. Sounds delicious. No, you moron. 
on. Do we have enough people to begin the meeting? I believe so. We may begin. As a solemn city councilman, where citizens put their trust. Are you with me? City council recognizes Miss Helen. Hello, Miss Helen. Hello, council members. For quote, more money than you will ever have. End quote. <laughs> yes, we are a poor orphanage full of children in unfortunate circumstances. Oh my, that is a bit tricky. What do you think? Tragic, tragic, tragic. tragic. tragic, tragic. And what is it exactly you'd like us to do? We see that a corporation is taking control, and all that you have to do is pay them the money. But we don't have the money, that's why I'm here. Well, just fill in the necessary paperwork, and we'll look into it. But I need help now. Oh my, what do you think we should do? Well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really know. Just we don't really have we a corporation. Just pay them. Yeah, yeah, you should check yeah. with the coal corporation. But they're the ones that control our loan. That is a bit tricky. <laughs> no, did I mention that I'll be spending Christmas That's on the coast? Oh. <laughs> what a bunch of jokes. What happens now, Miss Helen? Well, we go see Mr. Evil Cole, CEO of Cole Corporation. Thank you for finishing the tour, Miss Nora. You're welcome. Have a seat. Thank you, ma'am. You have wonderful manners, Kit. Thank you, ma'am. I don't suppose you got those from the streets. No, my mother taught me. Well, let's talk about that a little. Do you mind telling me what happened to your parents? Well, my father died when I was almost four, so my mother and I went to live with my grandmother. They both got sick from pneumonia and died. I'm so sorry. How old were you? That was two years ago. Then a neighbor lady took me in. But she wasn't very nice. After a while, her family moved out west, and I've been living on my own ever since. Tell me, Kit, what is it you miss most about your mother? Well, I guess her voice.
right here. Miss Helen? Helen? Is that you? Sally, oh my goodness. So good to see you. You look great. Thanks to you. You work here? Yep, since I graduated from the lamplight. She's from the lamplight? Oh, Sally, this is Hope. She's at the lamplight now. Always pleased to meet a fellow lamplighter. Now you listen to Miss Helen. She gave me the confidence and skills to work at the corporate world. In fact, Miss Helen, I don't know what you to say if it weren't for you. been over this and over this and over this. No starch in the collars. I'm breaking out here. He's got a rash. That's it. No more excuses. You are fired. Quit your blubbering. Quit your tears. I gotta go, mother. I gotta visit it. I'll see you at Christmas. Very direct, Miss Helen. Too direct. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Your building of street urchins is in the way of my master plans. Coal columns, slated to be the highest building in the city, a skyscraper. There's plenty of other sites in the city. Why would you want to tear down the lamplight? We're in a depression. People don't want orphanages doling out their hope and work. They want prisons to lock away and forget about the poor. They want skyscrapers, cold and pristine, Cruelly blocking out the sun. Obscuring optimism. Concealing <laughs> faith. Eclipsing hope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't you believe in charity and being good to others? Of course he does. You know, started the Cole Foundation. Yes, charity is the core of a coal. Well, great. Then maybe the Cole Foundation can give us some grace to keep the orphanage open. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's precious! The Coal Foundation giving away money as if it were free. No, no, that's not what we do here. Then what do you do? We pick ten poor people every year to be given one of the Coal Foundation's specially made fur coats. Just because they're poor doesn't mean they can't have fur. After all, we're all human beings. Only, yes, only the finest, ratish Norvegicus fur. Wait a minute, did you say ratish Norvegicus? Yes, rat fur. The finest city rat fur. Abundant, <laughs> plentiful. Cheap. You don't think we spend actual money on people, do you? But I thought. Now, Miss Helen, I think you've got the wrong impression of the man that I really am. I give when the moon makes it right. 
I take more often than I give. You may think that I am nasty, but I say it's my own life to me. I know that I am handsome and that my baby's sweet, but if I like the shoes you wear, I'll take them off your feet. When I see something bad, I know it's clear what I was doing. And if you try to stop me, I will walk all over you. And love every minute of it. <laughs> Just wanted to come say goodnight to you. Miss Helen, are we going to have to leave the lamplight? 
Now don't you worry, Emily. Everything will be just fine. girls, just what we needed right now. Time to stop. 
fundraiser, a talent show, a showcase to show the world that these boys and girls are special. Yes, that will be perfect. like Zippo socks. Hey. <laughs> I think you better fess up before we do something to make you regret it. Yeah, fess up or get messed up. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> this rich guy approached me, gave me some cash, told me to start supporting the lamplight, and told me there'd be more money later. Had you seen him before? Nah, we don't exactly hang around the same crowd, you know? Are you supposed to meet him again? Yeah, he said he'd find me. He seems to know this side of town pretty well for a rich guy. Is that all you know? Yep, that's it. All right, you can go. Just go quiet, then. Extra, extra, save the lamplight. OK, boys and girls, listen up. We're going to have auditions for the showcase. I want you to come up with your best talents and to show your best ever talents that you have. We'll put them in the showcase. We can dance. Yes. Very good. We can act. Someone can do magic. Excellent. Boxing. Acrobatics. Wonderful. I can do a ventriloquist act. Merci. I can stick my whole fist in my mouth. Want to see? No! <laughs> oh. OK, well, I'll think of something else then. <laughs> I want to be the announcer. I can't wait. Who's Nora? Yes, Isabel? I don't think I have a talent. Oh, Isabel, everyone is good at something. Thank you. 
Dance Lighters. First audition is the absolutely amazing Acrobats. <laughs> show before they did. Because of our spy in the lamplight. Morris! Sorry, Bill. Spy? Okay, now let's get ready for the next act. Please, sir. There's some change for hard times. Don't have a dime to spare. Please, you have no idea what much good a dime can do. What did I say? Move along, favorite. <laughs> Now let's see the boxing routine. We have Nanette and Alice with a little ventriloquist act. What do you want now? We're promoting you. You spy? It's a saboteur. I don't think I want to do this anymore. It's this show. So bad! They won't raise a penny. If you're successful, we'll add a little something to that promise we made you.
the Lamplight Orphanage. We can't do this without you. Thank you, Miss Nora. Up next are the fabulous ragtime dancers.
can't walk in a straight line. <laughs> Up next are Emily and Louise. Ask the baby bumblebees.
acrobats. Ruby, up next is the acrobats. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, up next are the absolutely amazing acrobats. <laughs> back your debt. Wait a minute, we have it. It was just stolen. 50-50. Tragic, really. What are we going to do? Extra, extra. Donations still on. Lamp life future still uncertain. Out of the way, newbie. Hey, lamp lighters. Look who we found. It's the one who's been stealing our stuff and breaking things. How do you know that? We caught her trying to steal another costume. Let's see exactly who you are. Oh, really? Extra, extra. Millie is a saboteur. Orphan Rod's orphanage. Oh, Millie, how could you do this to your family? Where's the ticket donation money? I don't have the money. Millie, I'm so disappointed in you. I didn't steal the donations. Come on, Millie, we know you did it. I did all the other things. I released the doves, threw out the ballet shoes, put out the Olympic shoes. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> all of those things. I work for Evil Cole. <gasps> Why? Morris came to the orphanage one day saying that if I spied for them, I could go live in their house and be part of their family. I'm really sorry, and I don't want to do it anymore. But Millie, we are your family. Why couldn't you trust them? I should have never doubted you. Yeah, Millie, even I know that's the way things should be. We have to love. It's the only thing that makes sense. You know, is this true? I have never seen this child in my life. Stop it. What? I stole the money. Hey, wait a second. You oh. said someone was paying you to support the land life. I know. And then I got this big check from the coal corporation, hiring me to steal the money. And I told her, I just go for the money. And I don't want to do anything. I'm sorry. Where's the money? Here's the check. Mr. Bull, can you explain 
business? What? I gave a check to some poor newsie. That a crime? There's a note on the check to, quote, steal orphanage ticket receipts. Chris! <laughs> what? That's just good accounting. <laughs> oh, so what if I did hire a newsie to thieve and a little girl to destroy? Does that make me a bad person? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? I don't care. I'm a businessman. Skyscrapers and malls are all that matter. Evil, I think this is the perfect opportunity to introduce you to someone. Mr. Braverman, what are you doing here, sir? Who is that? Richard Braverman, the chairman of the board of directors of the Coal Corporation. Well, Evil, I have some news for you. Wait a minute, you look familiar. Have we seen you somewhere before? Please, sir, there's some change for hard times. Filthy baker and I stole from the street! Coal, for conduct unbecoming that of a CEO, we have decided to terminate your services. What? What does that mean? You're fired. <laughs> they can't replace me. Actually, they can. I was just named CEO by the board. Uh, uh -huh. CEO. I'm so proud. You're finished, Evil. I'm making the Coal Corporation into an honest business. Honest? Business? <laughs> There's an oxymoron. Moron! <laughs> and we are going to make sure that the lamplight operates for many years to come. Do we get to stay or what? We get to stay. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> so, Mr. Braverman, let's get you back to the front row so you can watch the grand finale. Thank you, Miss Nora. It would be my pleasure. Everybody has a, everybody has a, 